Hello YouTube, it is Mac 98 Today I'm going to do a very special video because it is June 29th, 2012. And exactly five years ago, the iPhone came out. Now this is the original iPhone, I'm just going to focus on that. And as you can see, it is the 8 gigabyte model. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of, I guess you would call it, iPhone history. So, this came out on June 29th, 2007, but it was actually announced um, at Macworld uh, 2007 in, Ju in um, January, and then it took six months for them to bring it to market. And this is running version 3.1.3, which, um, which is the most you can take this up to. Um, because, obviously, hardware limitations. So, anyways, uh, the processor in this is a very slow um, 412 megahertz ARM. It came with 4 to 16 gigabytes of flash storage. The uh, 16 gigabyte model was added later, and the 4 gigabyte model was discontinued. And um, the backing, instead of having plastic or glass like the uh, 3GS or the 4, um, it is metal on the top, and then you have to have this plastic band because metal is not a very good um, for signal strength, so they added the plastic thing on the bottom. Uh, the screen on this was really the first big uh, touch screen, uh, really anything that came out that worked fluid like this. Um, 3.5 inches, 320 by 240, if I remember correctly. Um, or maybe 360 by 240, I think. And um, this was what revolutionized touchscreen phones. It only had 2G. 3G was added later. And um, 2 megapixel camera. And it started at 499 and went all the way up to 599. And then when they dropped the 4 gigabyte model, 4 gigabyte was put on clearance until um, for 399 until they were sold out. So that is the original iPhone. I'll put that right over there. Now, the second major iPhone upgrade was the iPhone 3G. This is the 3GS, as you can see, it's 32 gigs, but uh, I do not have a 3G with me. So, this one, I'm just going to pretend this is a 3G. The only difference between the original one right here and the 3G. Uh, were the fact that one, this had 3G networking, obviously because the name is iPhone 3G, and it also had this new pla all plastic design, which for the aesthetics looked pretty nice next to this, uh, just in uniformity. But I still prefer the actual the metal part versus it's all plastic. Um, and also, after time, it kind of does wear down a little bit more than the metal does. But what's nice about the uh, 3G is that it was fit in your hand a little bit better, and uh, it also brought 3G networking. Now, now the 3GS, uh, which was announced in 2009, which what, which is what this is, first thing it did was bump the storage capacity to maximum 32 gigs, which was welcomed by a lot of people. Um, got a much faster processor, so fast that it actually is being supported. Uh, in 2012, and we'll be uh, getting the iOS 6 upgrade, which I am running on this phone right now, as you can see. There's the passbook, and you can slide it down. And this has kind of been um, erased because of... Um, uh, I had to set this phone up new, and it also is uh, airplane mode because none of these but the iPhone 4S I have are activated. Um... So, as you can see, this phone is so fast that it's actually being supported three years after it's been launched, and it will be supported up to four years. Uh, it also brought the voice control, as you can see, and also a better camera where this is the first time you were actually able to... Um, it's a little bit slow because it's a beta. But this was the first time you were actually able to autofocus and take a picture on uh, any iPhone uh, before that it was stuck at 2 megapixels fixed focus. 
Um, the screen on this, same one that was in the original, the 3G. And I just have an iPhone 4 screen protector, so don't mind that camera that cut out. Came in black or white, and this now this is now being sold black only for free, uh, or 99 cents. I'm going to put that there. Now, in WWDC 2010, the iPhone 4 was announced. And this was a huge jump in anything that anyone had ever seen uh, in really any mobile phone. I know that the screen sizes were getting a little bit bigger in 2010, but they weren't as uh, much as uh, some of the, uh, what they are now, two years later. First thing that this brought was the A4 processor. This made stuff much faster than anything from the 3GS or the 3G or the original. Uh, second thing it brought was more RAM, but the biggest thing was the optically laminated Retina display. The display is 960 by 640, and as you can see, I'm going to try to focus on this, it is very, very crisp. There's an anti-glacial projector on this, uh, so you can't see it very well, but it is very, very crisp uh, compared to anything that was brought to market beforehand. And it also got a brand new design of aluminum silicate glass on the front and back. And I'll explain why this is white in a second. And a stainless steel band all along the phone. And there was the antenna brakes, which uh, some people say it caused problems. There was never a problem with this. It's never dropped the call because of that. So it came in black or white, or well, white or black, but... Um, the white was delayed 10 months. came out in April of 2010, and um, that was because, I think, of some coloring issues or anything. But back to uh, the, re the review, the camera got a lot better, 5 megapixels, and it got a good focus. I'll just slide up the camera. As you can see, it's very good to take photos with. And even for a phone two years old, it still is pretty fast. Um, so that was the, really the biggest jump that I've seen so far. Now, the iPhone 4S, which I have right here, this is my main phone. It's on. It's in the OtterBox commuter. Um, the 4S, what it did is it brought the A5 processor, the uh, much better camera, and also... Siri. So I don't know if this is going to work right now because I'm kind of overloading my internet with other stuff, but let me try it more. Okay, well, it's not going to work on me right now. It, this is still in beta for a little bit longer, but it soon will be out of beta. So, um, again, the iPhones, as you can see, this is going to be the family of iPhone. Original 3G, 3GS. 4 and 4S. These iPhones, even though it looks a little bit like they haven't changed very much at all, they've also made some huge jumps. The interface is generally the same, but it's bought, brought um, MMS, cut and paste, multitasking on the newer models, uh, backgrounds, App Store, everything. It's just been revolutionized so much over the, over the last five years even though it looks the same. But if it, if it isn't broke, broken, don't fix it. Uh, but of course, uh, with competitors catching up, it might be a time for them to do a little bit more. But um, as far as I'm concerned, this is a very solid phone. Now, the iPhones have actually gone on to do something more. Um, it has first revolutionized the complete... and It's revolutionized the mobile phone industry and it also has been brought you've, they've brought um, much uh, they've brought the technology that was in the iPhone to the iPad and also different features in the MacBooks and the MacBook Pros uh, or actually Mac OS for that matter and also the multi-touch trackpads in the MacBooks and the Magic Trackpad for the desktops and they have sold over 250 million iPhones. That is a lot of iPhones. And really, anywhere you look right now, you can find an iPhone because they're available on Sprint, AT&T, 
and Verizon now. Um, but AT and C is the only one that actually has a four G variant. So that's hopefully a feature that the new that the new iPhone is going to have. Last October, they launched their first free phone, allowing for a lot more people to come to the iPhone, even though it is the beginner model, I guess would be considered the beginner model, 3GS, but it is still a very good phone. So, happy fifth birthday to the iPhone, and hopefully that this will continue on for a very long time. Bye.